Hey everyone, this is Laura with We Met Wire Work and More, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really sweet, incredibly easy to make chakra key ring. So let me run through the materials, which are very few. We've got a 10 inch piece of galvanized wire, and here we have a bead that represents each chakra. Now you can use genuine stones. Um, these ones I just put together from some supplies that I had. And then this cute little charm that I got at the craft store and a handmade jump ring. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our 10 inch piece of wire and we're going to fold it in half-ish. And then it doesn't matter if one side's a little bit longer than the other or not. And then we're going to just give it a little squeeze like this so that it forms that loop. And then we're going to take our round nose barrel nose pliers and we're going to pop it in that loop, holding onto it firmly. And then we're just going to give a couple of twists this way. Straightening that out. And then we're going to string each bead on one of the wires. Now there is an order for these, so I will do that as we string them on. So here we have got a white or a clear or a crystal, which would represent quartz. And then we would take the purple, which would be representative of amethyst. And then we have a blue, which represents sodalite. And then we've got the pink, which represents rose quartz. We have got a yellow, which represents citrine. We have got an orange, orangey red, which represents a carnelian. And then we have a black one, which represents hematite. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to straighten out this wire, the second wire, and we're going to holding on to that loop. You could use your pliers for this too, um, as these can be a little bit slippery, but um, we're just going to go with it and we are going to just do it without using our tools. So we're going to make just, oops, see, that's exactly what I was referring to. We're going to just make this slight bend, pushing our beads down as we go, keeping them lined up nice and close together until we get to the end of the black bead. Now holding on to this firmly we're going to take our pliers and we are going to just wrap that wire a couple of times straightening out our beads. Ideally we want this straight. So I'm going to use these ones because they got teeth on them. A little bit stronger, a little bit easier, something to grab onto. Taking that wire and just twisting it all the way around. Now if you find it ends up being too long and you have to do more than a couple of twists, by all means, cut it off. Alright, so that is the main body of our key ring. Then we take our little Bit that's protruding here and we grab it right up close against that bend we give it a bit of a bit of a bend to the side and then repositioning our round pliers we are just going to bend bend that wire just to give us this little loop here all right and then taking our snips we want to cut off nice and close to where we just wrapped. Watch your fingers because that could be pretty tight in there. All right, now it gives us our little loop here. Now you have two choices. You can either string this on directly like that or you can use the jump ring. Now I'm going to use the jump ring just because I like a little bit more movement in my charm. 
So taking that jump ring, we are going to grab with two pairs of plier and we're going to just twist it so that it comes apart. So hopefully you can see that. So rather than bending it apart this way, we've just pulled it apart sideways. All right, so now we're going to take our chakra key ring, we pop our loop there, and then we grab our charm, hang it on there as well. Taking our second pair of pliers once again, move those wires into place, and then we just give a squeeze. Okay, so there's that part of it. And then we just take a purchased key ring and we just thread this onto the end of it. And there you go. There's our lovely little chakra keychain. All right, well thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit that like, hit that bell so you get notifications when we come up with new projects, and check out my other social media and you'll find all of those links in the description below. In the meantime, have a fantastic day. This is Laura with We Met Wirework and More, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much.